Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've been on here. I think the last video I posted was like October last year. So I'm happy to be back and I'm here with another haul. We're gonna do a highly requested Zara haul today. I'm so excited because recently anytime I either go into the store at Zara or I go online even though their website is like impossible to navigate I always end up picking up a few things so because there are so many items in this haul I'm going to try to kind of piece them together as an outfit and then talk about them together just because if I'm doing each item individually we're gonna be here all day and nobody has time for that so let's get started the first piece is what i'm wearing it looks like a sweater but don't let it fool you because it is the most majestic long knit dress i've been looking for one of these my boyfriend calls them potato sack but i i just love them they're so comfy you still look put together with a nice pair of shoes i got this in my regular size medium so it's definitely true to size or like a bit oversized because it's not really tight on me but I think that's how it's supposed to look. Okay, so moving on, Zara is known for their basic bodysuits. And so I picked up a couple long sleeve bodysuits. This one in gray with a little snap detailing. And then I also picked up this basic white one in a rib material. I got them both in a size large because I'm 5'9 and especially with bodysuits, I need the torso to be longer and I just thought they'd be more comfy if they weren't as tight. And to pair with these bodysuits, I got the classic mom jean. I think that's what they're called. Classic mom fit high rise ankle length. And I got these in my true to size, size eight. They honestly are the nicest fitting pair of jeans that I've found in a long time. And they're so inexpensive for a jean. I think these were $49 and they fit like a glove. So they're tight enough on your waist that they're not like baggy, um, but they give you enough room in your hips and butt area. And then they come back in at the leg. So if you struggle finding jeans that fit and trying to find jeans kind of snatch in your waist, these are definitely my favorite jeans that I've ever owned. I'm gonna go buy them in all the other colors. I got a couple outerwear pieces and I really needed a vest. I have like a big winter puffer coat, but sometimes when I go on walks, I just wanna wear like an oversized hoodie and throw on a vest. So this one's really nice. I was gonna buy the Aritzia Super Puff and I was like, why would I spend $250 on this vest? when I could just buy one at Zara for $79. So I highly recommend this vest. I love it and I'm keeping it. So shackets are kind of in right now. If you don't know what a shacket is, it's basically like a shirt jacket. So it's kind of like a button down collared shirt, except it's thicker, a little bit heavier. So you can wear it kind of like as an outerwear piece. So the first one I got is <laughs> the only piece that has color <laughs> in this entire haul. And of course it's pink. Um, so this one's beige and pink and it has a little bit of gray in it. I love plaid. I'm Canadian, so we love plaid here. And I just think this is a girly kind of sophisticated take on like a plaid kind of uh, wool shirt. Okay, and lastly for the shacket and outerwear is this cool kind of like I don't even know the kind of material it is, but it's almost like a rain coat material and it's a jacket as well has a collar and this one has snaps which i love and two really big pockets i can fit my phone wallet keys literally everything in this guy it's super long i think this is a size medium so just your regular size definitely don't size up in this because it's already an oversized piece so i'd be swimming in it if i had got the large okay so moving on i did get the iconic bodysuit everyone has it's like the high neck kind of slinky material with like the built-in kind of bra support i love it in the black i also got it in white but it is kind of see-through and i just don't think that i would wear it so 
I love the tags on these guys. I'm gonna be returning the white one. You can try it out for yourself, but I think the black is definitely worth a buy, but I'd pass on the white one just because. Okay, so these are the items that I purchased that I didn't really love. All the rest I love other than that kind of like see-through white bodysuit, which I thought was kind of, it just looked cheap. I'm not sure about these items. So if you guys could vote down below and let me know if I should keep them, that'd be a great help because I'm kind of like on the fence. Some of them are definite no's and then some of them I'm like, oh, which one should I keep? Which one shouldn't I? I've been seeing these sweaters everywhere and they're basically, well, let's not even call it a sweater, okay? It's like a neck and arm warmer. So <laughs> there's a neck hole and then arms and then it's just like missing the rest of the sweater. The material is really nice and it's really thick and I actually wish they just made the whole sweater because I just think it looks so dumb on. I don't know, what do you guys think? I just feel like you're missing half your outfit. So I wanted to love these jeans. They're the 90s full length. And they're kind of like the ones that everyone has from Zara with like the knee slit and they kind of go out at the bottom. But I just don't know if they fit me or flatter my body. I don't know. I just, I put them on and I'm not in love. So I feel like I'm probably going to take these back. Let me know what you guys think, but I think these are a definite no from me. If you like jeans like this that are like a little bit loose, baggy fit, don't really do anything for your butt or legs, then these would be the ones for you. But I just don't think personally that I like them on my body. So I saw these shorts and they looked so cute. They're like alpaca wool shorts. But I have so many pairs of knit shorts and let's be honest, are you really gonna be wanting to wear alpaca wool in the summer when it's warm enough to wear shorts? Or are you really gonna be wanting to wear shorts that are alpaca in the winter when half your leg is bare? You know what I mean? Like kind of doesn't make sense. I thought they were so cute, but I just don't see the practicality of how I'm gonna wear them or I guess I could keep them for PJs, but I feel like I'd probably sweat in them at night. So I think these are a no. And last but not least for the clothing is this kind of like jumpsuit with a collar. It's part merino wool and it is very cute on the model. However, as a 5'9 human, for some reason it just hits me at a weird angle. So if you're shorter, this is the cutest jumpsuit ever. It's so soft, such a good neutral color, but unfortunately for anyone, probably I would say like 5'8 and over, you're gonna look weird in the crotch and like butt area. So this is a no from me. So there's a couple accessories that I got. Um, these I'm keeping, they're just like a wool sock. They're actually from the men's section. And lastly, I got this bag and I, I love the bag. My boyfriend thinks it looks stupid, hence why the tag is still on it because I'm undecided on whether or not I'm going to keep this bag. I think it's just like the cutest little Sherpa bag and like styled here, you know, like with little jeans and a white top. I just think it's kind of like a really cute statement piece for the winter. What do you guys think? For sure, like I really want to keep this bag, but I don't know if it's ugly or not, so let me know if it's ugly. <laughs> okay, so that is it for my Zara haul. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I love shopping at Zara, so I wouldn't mind doing another video if you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you also like seeing the pieces that I didn't like. I know sometimes when you watch hauls, um, it's all like, oh my gosh, this stuff is great, and you don't actually see the stuff that just like kind of looks like so I wanted to add those pieces in as well. So let me know if you like that. I hope you all have a fantastic week and I'll see you again in my next video.